<laughs> if the GoPro had a baby, it would be this. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Insta360 Go! Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to give you four tips and we're going to talk about the Insta360 Go. It's pretty small. So the first one is, it's going to teach you how to see. Because it's a wearable camera, you're always going to be alert and looking for the capturing those moments. Number two, it's going to teach you how to be bold. As a video maker, people are going to look at you strangely, especially if you have a wearable camera like this. So you're going to get used to questions and strange looks, but that's what you have to do in order to catch oddly strange moments. And people are gonna wonder how you caught those moments. Number three, it's gonna teach you how to storytell. Because of its limits in size, it's only gonna capture 30 second videos. So you have to get creative and you have to learn how to series those videos together and the software is gonna help you. And that leads me to number four, is its video editing software, which teaches you how to series those 30 second clips and put them together in a story and adds video transitions and lots of video effects if you're a beginner. So it's gonna help you with that. Typically, this action camera is good for sports, but I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna do a food adventure and a cooking and dining experience. I'm gonna give you a quick demo to show you what the software can do for you. And then at the end, hopefully you'll be impressed with the result and I'll show you some creative camera views that you can use if you love to share your food with your friends and family. I wanna show you a little of the video editing that I think is really helpful in your video editing experience. So it's really simple, I'm not gonna to go too deep into this, just kinda of wanna to touch on it so you kinda of get an idea of what this can do over any plain camera. So open up the app here, and they have what's called themes. And so for example, you could be traveling, work. What it'll do is it'll match in those type of videos and put those together, music, and it'll stitch them together to help you create a better story. So for example, I could come in here into a food one and I could use this theme. So it's gonna require 21 clips and put those together into a food theme. So I don't have enough food clips for this to really work well. So I found that it doesn't work the best. There is manual intervention involved, but what you do is basically it will search your previous clips. You go ahead and hit this flash cut. It's supposed to use computer vision to detect food items and put them in your roll. It automatically selected them and you can scroll through the clips. And for example, if it doesn't have one in there like this one, then what you can do is throw that one away. And then if you do find one, let's say you find a clip with food in there, then you can lock it here and let's find another one. Here's another one not food related. We'll throw that one away. And then you come here, it'll keep the ones you saved and put in new ones until you have a full story of your theme. Then when you have the clips that you want, you can do some fine tuning at the end. So for example, you can reframe where the shot is showing. You can change the speed. Maybe you can do a speed ramp or hyperlapse. You can add some text. You can also add some filters and you can change the beginning and the end of when those clips start and stop. And then lastly, you can change the music and they give you a music that really matches well. If you want to choose something else, then they have a good library that you can use, which I found pretty amazing that you can have this music to add in your clips for free. That's a quick look at the software and what it can do. I didn't find it to automate everything, but it does give you some creative ideas, especially if you're not sure how to make good videos. Keep this in mind, this is an action camera. It's made for quick, short action videos, and it really does a good job of putting those together to share on social media. So let me show you some of the results I had when I did my food adventure with Insta360 Go!
petite. It's very cheap. Not good. Maybe it's my uh, cyborg guy. Can I do that? Man. Maybe like this. <laughs> I don't know. Now it's time to get rolling. They see me rolling. Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna break this. That's one thing you gotta be careful about. It's so small. It's already chipped. Great. <laughs> 